Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Janelle. So today's video, I'm going to be doing like a like a typical every updated every day to day makeup look. So I just want to get ready with you guys, and yeah, so let's just get right into the video. By the way, my daughter is sleeping, so sorry if I'm not talking as loud. I know in my other video, um, it was hard for me to like, it was hard for you guys to hear me, but most of the time I'm filming when my daughter is sleeping. So I super, super apologize if you guys cannot hear me throughout the video, but I'm gonna try to remember to talk louder um, for you guys. And also don't mind the video, I mean the, show that's playing i'm currently watching this new show on netflix it's called emergency nyc i believe that's what it is um so yeah it's just on me right now i can't even hear it but i'm just letting it play in the background so yeah you guys let's just get right into the video oh and also my sister pierced like my second hole um she pierced my second hole right here because she bought like the actual um earring gun thingy so she pierced my ear and it's finally healed you guys like i kid you not it was like super fat because my daughter kept freaking hitting it you guys and it was getting like swollen and swollen by the minute but finally it's actually healed and it feels so much better so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys i'm starting to be into like wearing earrings again because i usually like don't really like to wear earrings but now i kind of am loving wearing earrings now so yeah and i'm planning on doing like a third hole what do you guys think i don't know if that's too much but i'm still thinking about it um so yeah okay now let's just get right into the video because i'm just talking way too much don't mind my daughter just sleeping in the background we're gonna get try to get through this video because yeah so we are just going to do like a natural, well not natural, I wouldn't really say natural, but um, just like an updated like um, every day to day makeup look I'd say. So kind of like a chit chat um, also. And also all the products that I use, I will list them down below because I already mentioned like most of these products anyways in my previous Get Ready With Me video. So yeah, but I'm like looking in the back and I could see like, I could see the, um, the show that I'm watching in the back. So sorry guys. It's like a hospital like video so if you guys don't like watching like nasty well not nasty but you know stuff like that like what I'm saying then just try not to um mind it please. You know what let me just change the video BRB. Okay I had to change it real quick because I didn't want nobody in the comments saying why would you keep that on and blah 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 blah. So we're gonna have some music playing in the background even though I can't even hear it. But um, yeah, okay, enough of me talking. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Um, how are we feeling about my black hair? As I mentioned before, I kind of like love it. Like, I don't know how to feel. I mean, I do love it and I do miss my blonde hair because I actually kept my blonde hair for a really long while. So I do miss it, but then I had to like go back to black just so I could like let my hair 
like grow and stuff and like get thicker because my hair has been like thinning out a lot and if i have to keep bleaching it like every like other month and so it's like i'm literally gonna be bald and we cannot be bald over here guys so i was like you know what i missed my black hair and i was like you know what f it we're just gonna go back to black hair and yeah so i bit the bullet and we went back to black hair which i'm loving it i am loving it I don't have to worry about like my roots like oh my god my roots are going i need my hair done like asap so it's kind of nice but there are times where i do look at like my old pictures and i'm like no i miss my blonde because this was like the blondest i've ever been you guys i've like been blonde before but i've never got to that light of a blonde so and you guys know those stuff is a pretty pretty pricey so shout out to my hubby i think i want to say i actually have my blonde hair for maybe about like three maybe like three years or so or even more maybe like three or four years and this is my first i just realized that this is actually my first my daughter's first time seeing me in black hair She's never seen me in black hair ever since I was, when I was pregnant with her, that's when um, I actually went to blonde. So she's never seen me with a black hair before you guys. So yeah, but I don't even think she even could tell the difference cause yeah, I don't know you guys. I'm just rambling. So sorry if like I'm talking all over the place cause to be honest, it's actually hard to do your makeup and talk at the same time. So I don't know how these girls do it, but kudos to you guys. Because I'm trying so hard to focus right now and talk to you guys at the same time. So, yeah. And also, I didn't get to talk about my daughter's birthday party like that. Um, so unfortunately, she was sick, you guys so i was sad that she didn't really get to enjoy like that well i mean she did enjoy but i feel like she could have had more fun if she wasn't sick you know but other than that i mean it was good okay don't mind the brows you guys we're gonna go back to them and fill them out and I feel like it's better when I do like my little fluffy eyebrow look because now that my hair is darker like I feel like it goes better because my because my eyebrow hairs are actually pretty dark so I feel like I can um, it goes better with like my dark hair you know if that makes sense so and then now we're just gonna clean up my brows. Oh, and also, okay, so my daughter's per party was on the 15th and it was my husband's birthday on the 16th, which, which was literally the next day. So this was actually his birthday weekend, but we made it into our daughter's birthday weekend instead. So, yeah because my daughter's real actual birthday is on 420 so that's why we did it on that day because it was my husband's birthday as well so it was kind of like a two-in-one celebration but really it was her party so yeah we just celebrated his birthday and her birthday like on my daughter's actual birthday which i vlogged and if you guys watched that so where we went out to, where we went out to eat and stuff so yeah she literally took over her dad's birthday weekend pretty much but anywho you guys so summer is coming up how do you guys feel about that i mean here in cali it's been like hot it's been starting to get hot, but then it's kind of, I don't know, the weather's like, the weather, ew, I'm such a fob. The weather, the weather has been like, I don't know, like super bipolar. 
like do you want to be hot or do you want to be cold like what is it what is it girl what is it but yeah so summer is coming up it is what like may right now or well, just turned it just turned into may but um so summer is like june june in the middle of june i guess or beginning of june i'm not too sure but um yeah so trying to get ready for the summer you guys which i am not ready for because here in cali if you know you know when it's hot it's extremely hot and if you do not have an ac or nothing girl you are mm -mm. and we have to buy a new ac because our ac just broke down on us like um last year so now summer's coming back up yeah we're gonna need a new ac because uh-uh and I hate it because like apartment, our apartment, when it's cold, it's freaking cold. But when it's hot, it's freaking hot. So it's like, bro, can we catch a break? And my husband's like, you're always complaining about the weather, which I am, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all do, but it's like, ugh. Come on, girl. Like, why can't we just have the best of both worlds, you know? And our, our apartment doesn't even have, like, a built-in AC or, um, like, heater or whatever. So, yeah, that sucks, too. But whatever. It's okay. We'll live. It just sucks. Like, I hate... I, I love... I don't love the summer, but I like the warm. Like, when it's, like, warm and pretty outside. But as to, like... I hate when I get like all sticky and stuff. Even after getting out the shower, you get start getting all hot and sticky. Ugh. It like that's when I get so annoyed. It, like it's so annoying. And I love the winter because we could just throw on hoodies and leggings, all like just wear that all day, you know. But yeah, I don't know. I like the summer, but I love the winter. I don't know. It's weird. And I the only thing I don't like summer is when you go outside and like me, I get dark so so quick, you guys. Like, I don't know how to explain this, but it's like once I step out the door and there's sun, like, I feel like I get dark already. Like, I don't know why. Even I, even if I have, like, sunscreen and stuff, I will get dark. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or what, but, girl, something is wrong. Okay, I feel like I'm talking so much. And I haven't even done nothing. I just did my damn brows. Oh, and also, I need to look at my lashes, you guys. Um... So I found a new lash tech, which is dun dun dun, my little cousin. So she's been doing my lashes now. Well, she just did it two times, and I need to get a fill. But I don't know if I'm gonna just let let these like take these off and then just get a new set because you guys, my allergies right now is freaking ridiculous. Like this eye in particular has been so itchy and with my lashes, it's like not helping. Like I literally have to scratch my eyes like this. And if you guys have allergies, you guys know what I'm talking about because when you have really bad allergies, like your eyes get super, super, super itchy and it's so hard doing that when you have eyelashes on. So I'm like, just for the sake of my allergies, like I feel like I wanna take these off then like let my lashes, um, have a break and then get them done next month because we do have a wedding to go to next month so i feel like i'm just i just want to just wait and get my lashes done right before the wedding so I'll let my lashes grow again but um yeah we're still debating but i'm pretty most likely sure that's what i'm gonna do because uh -uh, my allergies you guys is insane let me know what kind of um allergy medicine you guys like to take that works for you guys because I think, I don't know, I we bought like Zyrtec and it works here and there. But for the most part, I want something that actually like work, like stays working, you guys. Because even my kids, my husband, like we all have allergies and ours is like so bad, you guys. My nose is always running. That's why I really haven't even been wearing weight makeup like that. Because my nose is always running, you guys. And, um... I have to like constantly blow my freaking nose which takes off my makeup obviously so I'm like what's the point of wearing makeup also you guys so my oldest son 
is graduating eighth grade you guys he is about to be in high school i am so freaking sad my son is growing up so right now he's in eighth grade his um graduation is next month on june uh june 14th i believe so yeah he has his little or eighth grade promotion whatever it's called but um yeah you guys i can't believe my son my oldest son is going to be in high school like bro we are getting so old like i always tell my like husband that like wow i can't believe we're about to have a son that is literally about to be in freaking high school like damn we've been together like for so long so annoying he's so annoying i'm just kidding <laughs> he's gonna watch this he's gonna be like really i'm just kidding though no but um yeah like i just think about like wow we've been together for so freaking long like this is insane like you know when you think about stuff like that like when you have kids and then you're like wow we've been together for so long because look at our kids like how they grow up so fast and you know it's just it's just crazy when you think about stuff like that like wow who would have known right who would have known and then again i'm like wow i'm getting old too you guys this foundation looks so white on camera another thing too like ever since i've been getting my lashes done like i don't really wear um uh eyeshadow like that anymore so that saves time when getting ready as well and yeah so anyways back to what i was saying oh how my son is graduating i'm like so excited but like so nervous and sad because he's gonna be in high school you guys let me know if you guys have little young ones that are heading into high school as well. Also, I've been having this color corrector and I don't know why I never use it because my under eyes is extremely dark, you guys. I feel like that's why it makes my foundation look so white also because like right here when I don't put any, um, when I don't put any when i don't put any um foundation right there like it looks super light and it makes my under eyes look even darker i hate that my under eyes are so dark and also you guys i want to thank you guys that are subscribed to my channel um we are almost at like 600 i believe i know it's not that much a lot of you guys are probably like what that's not even a lot but to me it is like i really didn't really didn't even think i would get even subscribers like that but we do and i'm so so happy so thank you all to everyone who has been who are subscribed to my channel and take the time out of their day to watch my videos so thank you guys so 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 much i really 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 appreciate it um yeah that my goal is to at least hit 1k hopefully soon or hopefully by the end of this year i hope so yeah it's about that time girl
sorry, my husband was calling. She is on lunch right now. So. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, though, like when I put um under eye corrector and then when I blend it out, I put concealer. It like makes it like a different color, so I have to like put concealer again on top of it just to cancel out that color that I use. Um, the under eye corrector. Also, you guys, I feel like I need to invest in a camera because I feel like my, um, quality of my videos can be a little better um i don't know i just feel like like my when i look back on like my videos i'm like uh i feel like i could do better you know but one day at a time we'll get there right I've been loving this, um, this powder puff. I feel like it makes my under eyes so much more smoother using this instead of using the um, beauty blender. Because I used to use a beauty blender to um, put under, set my under eyes. But ever since I've discovered this, this has been, been so much better. I feel like it makes it look more flawless because most of the time I don't use like um I don't really set my face with um like any face powder I used to do that but I kind of don't anymore but um I want to try the Charlotte Tilbury face powder so I do want to start because I used to uh, when I used to set my face with face powder um, I used to use the MAC MAC studio finish but I haven't been using MAC products in a while you guys like I don't know like MAC used to be so popping I'm pretty sure they still are but you know what I mean like um People usually just go to like Ulta and Sephora now, which they do have Mac store, um, a Mac inside of their stores now, but I'm just saying, you know how like back then. So yeah, I kind of miss um, using Mac products though because they were super it. So now we are going to bronze the face just a little bit. We're not gonna go too crazy on the brush. Just a little bit because I do want to mainly use um, blush. I feel like summer, since summer is here, I mean, coming up, I feel like I don't want to use too much bronzer. Even though summer is like all about being tan and whatnot, but I feel like I'm so tan already. Like, girl, I don't need to be any more tan. So, that's all I'm going to use. Now we're just going to go to blush. And for blush, I'm going to use my color I've been using. Where's my mirror? This is literally it, you guys. Um, we're just gonna fix the eyebrows a little bit because I feel like it looks a little weird. Oh, so if you guys want to get like the feathery like eyebrow look, you guys should try this if you guys haven't. Um, this is the NYX brow tint pen, and it is the prof um, lift and snatch um, eyebrow thingy. So this is like how it looks like. See how 
pointy it is so this literally gives you like um like wannabe hairs and also notice how i didn't put concealer under my eyebrows I feel like now I just do that when I want to like um when I'm going on like a more like glam look um but since I want to like kind of stay natural and stuff um I feel like I don't want to use um concealer like that so like you know give your eyebrows more of that like snatched look um so this is good for now I use the KKW um, nude lip liner in number two Lude, uh, lip liner in nude two this pure hollywood first sand on top so I'll just let that sit This is my go-to like every day-to-day -day makeup look when I'm not like trying to do something too dramatic like kind of makeup no makeup kind of <laughs> I guess you can say but we are wearing makeup so yeah you guys that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye